Hey guys, it's Craig again. Uh, I know in an earlier video I said, hey, what Bitcoin? what is Bitcoin going to do? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? I guess I should have mentioned it's just going to stay in the same spot for the day at least. Um, you know what, guys? I started looking and investigating a little bit more on Bitcoin and um, I can't go. I cannot go with an impulse down on Bitcoin. It's just not possible. Um, I do think it's in some sort of X wave. Just going through these waves, these are three wave moves. Just to guys give you an idea of what's going on. Here's one, two, three, and then probably one, two, three down, down there, or it may be going up. This could be uh, 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 going up this way or down this way to complete some type of WXY within it, whether it's here and it goes up or it's here and it goes up. But in my opinion, this is more realistic. I think that it's it's stuck. Uh, I want to say stuck, but it's in this area that's just making um, those X wave moves to me. And I say this is a three wave move down. So what this is going to be is this will be right now a a big W up for an X and then a Y in my opinion. So this whole thing is W, X, Y, three wave move. And then this within here is a W, X, Y to make the X, the three wave move. So there's either one, two, three, and then this is going to be one, two, three, and then one, two, three, or it's just going to go up from here, uh, from where it is right now, and then go up and possibly make, make an X wave like that and then down for a Y. Now, whether the Y hits that trend or hits this next trend, that's open for debate. That's open for debate. But I think I don't think this X wave, this X wave is gonna go up that high. I just don't think so. Just uh, let's take a look at the, the RSI on the four hour. So you see this uh, at this, at the end here, okay? So this is the four hour and normally what I like to see um, for impulse moves, guys, is I wanna see divergence on large moves like this on the four hour. And guess what? There is no divergence. So if you come down here, no divergence. You go up there, no divergence. You got that point? No divergence. You got that point? No divergence. So, so what I'm letting you guys know is this is not an impulse move. It's a corrective. It, well, I would say this, this move is a three-wave move. One, two, three. And then you have your uh, uh, main Y that it came down. Now it's in an X wave. Now, whether the X wave goes there or the X wave goes all the way up there, that's... Don't know, but based on the structure size, I'm thinking the X wave is going to go in this area, more or less 42, maybe 43, 41, and then it's going to come down for a Y. That's just what, that's what I think is going to happen. That's what I think it's doing right now. So as, as you go with, with Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, you have to be willing to change. You just can't stick to one thing. And I know everybody else is saying this is one, two, three, four, and this is a fourth wave. I don't think so. That's just my personal opinion, just studying the waves and looking at them, that I think it's going up in some type of X wave and it's going to swing back down. Whether that goes right there or it goes right there or it goes there, I, no telling. But more than likely that, you know, you, you, with the W, X, Y, you, you, uh, you're, you know, it's not a one-to-one -one thing. It's not a one-to-one. -one. It doesn't do that. It can be 50% of that W. It can be seven, eight, six, it could be one to one, it could be 1.38. It just, it's, you can't, it's very difficult to estimate. It, it can be shallow, it can be deep. So I don't want to like let you guys, lead you guys to like some weird thing, like, like, hey, it's going to, you know, go ahead and put shorts in here and stuff like that. But if this plays out, like I think it's going to play out, I will be looking for shorts on that X wave. Certainly, I'll be looking at other assets. Today, I'm just at the end of the day. I'm just going over Bitcoin right now and uh, waiting for this to play out, whether it's just going to shoot up there. The reason why I say it's going to probably not shoot up there is just because if you take a look at this structure, 
uh, right now. Let me go down to the 45 minute chart. If you take a look at this structure and really, so you got a one, two, three wave move. And whether you want to call all that, you, this is open for debate. It could be one, two, three. I don't think so. I don't think so. And then, and then this is something else or a connector wave right here. This could be one, two, three. And I don't think so. I think this is one, two, and then possibly down for a three or something like that. You know, it could be short C or down like that. And then it's another like this. It's going to be another three wave. One, two, three. And you know, this this can be like that. It can be you know, uh, you know, it could be a, a, a expanded flat or something like that. Just don't know. Just don't know. So um, it's the same. And the reason why I made that change is just because of ETH. You know, uh, there's just no way if you take a look at this structure and you look at ETH as a whole on this structure, you know. Uh, people are going, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. It, it's just, it, it's not, it, to me, it's not, um, it's not doing that. It's just not doing that. It's, it's WXY. And this right here, I investigated that wave. That is a three wave move right there. It's not one full impulse. That's an ABC. It did in there. So that's a WXY. So with ETH, um, there's a W here, so that's a full W there on ETH, which makes sense to me because it followed Bitcoin now. And then with ETH, it would be a W here to up, you know, wherever this stops, up X, up for a Y, up, up for that X, and then down for the Y. I hope that makes sense to you guys. What I'm trying to show you there is that with ETH, this is a three-way move, and it's a Y, it's a Y leg. So a three three, three. WXYs are three wave moves, guys. So you go here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, to make a WXY. And then here, let me move that out of the way. Okay. So this one, one, two, three, one, two, three, probably like that. Like, uh, one, two, three. So I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, and then this would follow Bitcoin. One, two, three, something like that. And then the X wave can go there or the X wave can go here, can go, you know, all the way up, you know, can go way up there. And it'll just be a slow, a slow grind again. You know, if it keeps going up, 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 it'll be, well, you'll see it. If it just like real, just keeps going up and then it'll shoot up. And then grind and grind and grind and shoot up. Yeah, X wave moves. And then after that, it'll come down. That's a three wave move. This will be a W, X, Y, and then down for this Y leg. Now, whether that hits there at 29 or goes down to that to 26, don't know. Don't know. But that's what I'm looking out for. And that's kind of what I keep in my eye on. And just in that area, in this area where it's difficult to trade, if you know, you could trade the three waves. Or you can use support and resistance or whatever method you like to use. You can go in there, but it's you're not going to have super volatile movements to for uh, big swings in anything. You know, I'm looking at the other assets. I'm not going to go over Phantom, Solana, and AVAX and Near Protocol. They're not moving much. You take a look at them. They're just not moving at all. You know, Solana has been 100 to 102 all day. You know, Near Protocol has been sitting at $16. Kusama, the same thing, 165 uh, 166, same thing with that, just sitting there because uh, this X wave movement. So, anyhow, guys, I just want to give you a quick update and why I made the change on uh, on Bitcoin. You know, I was just, I was, I was with the um, the impulse move, and now that now that I have more clarity, what went on here, I've changed it back. I had an impulse because there were some re reputable Ellie wave people that said, "Oh, it's an impulse. It's an impulse move." I don't think it is. This is the three wave move. And I already showed you guys that. I want to uh, regurgitate that. Just let you guys know what's possibly going up. We're not going to have much movement um, for a while until the X wave is probably complete. It could be a slow grind up, just let you know. And then the movement will come on the Y leg. That'll start moving a lot better. All right, guys, that is the end of my beef, in a, or not beef, but Bitcoin and Ethereum. Thanks for watching my video. Peace.